Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Pete. You're watching Pete J. Cooper, the model builder, and welcome. The Lancaster that we're building today, and we're going on with that. So let's get straight into that and see what we do. I think there's quite a bit of gluing to be done, but uh, we, we will see about that. Let's see, we've got stage four, three, five, and six here. As you can see on the cap, no, you, well, as you can see, as you can see right there, stages, we've got one pack here and the other packs there with the screw box as well. So let's get into this one. So this is the cockpit and the canopy that we're building, or at least part, oh, there you go. And uh, they're telling a bit of the uh, not of the dam busters that we are building, but that Lancasters have played a role not only in dam busting but also in bombing large uh, battleships like the Tear Pits and of course the Bismarck. Okay, on uh, May 27th, 4041, the Bismarck was sunk, and then uh, the Germans only had this battleship, which was just about to be fin uh, just about finished when uh, the, the Bismarck was sunk. So this is the only battleship they had but not too long after that uh, a squadron of 27 Lancasters tried to find the tear pitch from Russia they flew in to find it and uh, that they flew quite low because they were uh, the, the radar didn't pick it up but uh, the tear pitch went down anyway when one uh, uh, bomber found it after they put out the smoke screen one bomber did find it and put a tall boy on it at least on the front part of the uh, of the uh, of the battleship and sunk it with that and this picture shows that it's on its side and it's not doing anything at all so they uh, made sure that that battleship was not a factor anywhere because it couldn't go anywhere and it sunk the Merlin engine a little bit up the Rolls-Royce Merlin engine and as you can see right there that they, they were put into other uh, planes as well not all of them were, were very <laughs> well done as this ill-fated Bolton uh, showed uh, in history but uh, the submarine supermarine uh, Spitfire had it as well which was another iconic plane that flew in the Second World War so we've got canopy glass cockpit floor which looks like a very strange bonobo <laughs> A monkey, long nosed monkey, and those parts. So we're going to put that away and see what we do. Which I, I find very li a little bit strange that we're doing things from previous stages. We're going to put it like that, that thing there, but we are going to put a bit of glue on that. And we've got the glue at the ready, so might as well use it. So let's hold it there for a second, which is micro crystal clear. All right, so we've got a little bit of crystal clear here, and we're going to put it a bit of that stuff right there. I made a little cocoa mistake there. I should have cleaned that window up before I put it on getting burrs off and stuff like that now it's in neatly as you can see right there okay we're gonna put an antenna in I think that is too fragile to put on now so I will put it on later I think that is a little bit too fragile so I'm gonna leave that into uh, the box here and put it on later because that is just prone to be broken. Now, I heard this was a very hard one to do, so let's find out. And now it's in completely. Wow, that was not as hard as I thought it would be. So we're putting these in. So we've got the, 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 the glass in on this side and, and on that side. Now we're gonna put it on right here. But with that, we're gonna use a DP which we have right here and this is into plastic so it's fine not to use any oil but be careful with that that 
is what it looks like now. Then we're going to put that one in front of it. What I'm saying here is if, if, I, if I put it like that, this doesn't close up on both sides. So if I put a tiny drop of glue, which I can put in from this side or from the top, it will be a lot better. But we're going to screw this on first, which is a BP screw again. Maybe that will close up when we put them all together. So I'm going to leave it like that. And we have that beautiful nose in front. <laughs> And that is the first stage done. And let's go to four, which we started already. Here we have the uh, cockpit and canopy, and that's what we're starting with. We're getting that one out, and it looks like to be right there, as you can see. Be careful with that when you put that in. There we go, that's that siding. There we go, that's that siding as well. Well, you hear, heard that. There is no need for any, uh, but don't push it down because I just broke one of the pins here. And I hope that's not a problem, but we'll find out. So we're going to put that to the side. But let me just show you what it should look like. Like that. And I broke that pin there. It's, I hope it's not a problem. We're going to get that one out and see what we do with that. Yeah, we're going to do that one which should go there and I'll put a little bit of glue from behind but only just a little bit there we go that's in then let's get that a little bit closer we take that one out and have a look at how that's orientated and that is what we should have. Have a look at those, that, and that one. Those two out. And we're going to put a little bit of glue into that D-shaped pattern that we see there. That together. So we're going to put that to the side and we're going to get that one out because that's the last thing we did. If you remember, we made that little um, thing that will stay in right there have a look at that there's some stickers in there that's beautiful so we've put that one on we're gonna put a little bit of glue into the points where it's going in and the tiniest bit on the pins itself and we're gonna put it on like so there we go that's on as well right there maybe we should turn it around so you can see it so we put the parachute on and we put that one on then we've got another green thing to put on so we put that in but we do put a little bit of oil, uh, oil glue into the before we put that in you cannot put in another any other way because there's a large pin and a Little large hole that come together there we go that is on as well we're gonna get that one out and the two windows that we have I took out <coughs> with that knife I just took out the burr a little bit that's what we have those two windows in so we put that to the side turn this one around and we've got a few holes here so we've got two small things here which is that one which is a sort of curtain and something with a green top on it I think it's not a green it's that glass thing and that went in and that was incredibly hard to put I opened up the holes in in the curtain a little bit on the other side so it would fit together Wow, that was a hard one to do. Now we're going to get those tiny antenna out and put them on one by one. Uh, we put a little bit of glue on that and let's see how that we, we put them on like so with there. I don't think you can see it properly. 
right there, like so. And that's it for this stage. I'm gonna put those to the side and see when we are going to need the rest of them because we've got a few parts left. Five and six, it's all to do with the chair and a little bit of the cockpit, but I can tell you it ain't gonna be easy. But then, is that what we want? No, we want it nicely detailed. As you can see here, it's just little parts. So this uh, this is Johnny Walker, very famous Lancaster bomber that uh, bombed uh, Berlin and a lot of other uh, places in Germany, but also uh, brought down, uh, helped with uh, the tier pitch, uh, the big battleship. I think I need this bag first. Yep, like bags of little things. Uh, with all these small parts, I'm not going to use super glue, but I'm going to use my favorite. I put glue on that, and now it jumps out. All right, that's the first one I put in, which is right there. You can't see. Now you can, that green thing that is there. That's the second one in. No, they want us to put that one in. Which is a little bit easier. There we go. We've got those four parts on, as you can see right there. This one, that one, that one, that one. There you go. Then we're going to the other side to put this one in. Now we've got that. So we put that handle there and there's one right in front of here. A V-shaped one. So now we have that. We put that brace in there. Let's see what we do next. We get another bag open. That is what we would just put together on that. It is so tiny. So we put that one on just now. Then we're going to get that one out. There we go. That one's just went in. That is just what went in. Unbelievable, all these tiny, tiny parts. Yeah, we need that one. So we put that one on there, that one, then we're going to get that, that one out and make sure that that goes in and that that little hole there catches that one. Now we've put that one on with that. So it needs to bow up as we had with the other one. We have two of those. And we're gonna put them into the two holes that are there, yeah. And then we have those two in there. And I don't know if they're right, so I'm not gonna glue them in. And we have that one and that one. So we just put that one and the one behind it in. And we've glued those two to, uh, into their little notches that are there. Sorry, and when we glued those in as well. So we're gonna put that to a side. And we've got these very tiny parts. Then we're gonna put those two on. I'm doing it slightly different to what they're saying to do because I found that headboard was too long anyway. So I've shaved a bit of that headboard off. You know what? I'll come back when I'm finished. As you can see right there, yeah, I got it together, but have a look. That I, I've taken a millimeter of what the headboard here was before I could put those struts in, 
a millimeter of before I can put those struts in that are there. So uh, not completely done properly. And I put the uh, armrests in as well. And now we're gonna put that onto that one there. If you see those two pins there, that's where it needs to go on. And they are in there. So that is what we have with all this its little part. And that is that stage done. So we've got quite a lot of little parts. And this is <laughs> oh, something to behold. So this is the cockpit controls that we are making. So we're gonna put you aside. And a little history on the Lancaster M FM 104. Canadian built Lancaster entered in service at the end of the war. After the war, the FM carried out anti submarine duties. We get that one out. Might as well get everything out, except for those little things. We'll, we'll be working on those a little bit later on. No, the other way around. So we've got that, we've got that together now with the pins on that side. Wow, guys, it's supposed to be this way around, not the one I had just had, because we <laughs> need to put the yoke in here. And uh, no joke, this was the wrong way around. But luckily I didn't glue it in. I wasn't smart enough, was smart enough not to do that yet. There you can see the yoke in there. Right there. Have to be careful with those pipes in the, in the back. Wow. That's looking good. Okay. So we hold it carefully and we've got that it's not getting oh, there go. With, with the compass that right there and now we're gonna do something that is uh, pretty darn hard we're gonna get those out the levers so let's turn everything off because this is, uh, we're putting all these levers in there. This is such a fiddly thing. As you can see, maybe you can't. The first lever is in. And I put five more silver ones in there. Let me just show you one. There you see the next silver one. And I'm gonna turn everything off. Well, um, might as well leave it running. That's in. So we're putting the small ones in the lower part and the bigger ones on the top. So let's start with the bigger ones. And I've got it fully done. It's, it's hard for me to show you, but let me try and make a picture of it. Let me just try and fix that and come back to you. Shoot, you can look at the parts that I have left. Um, that if we finished all right we're gonna leave it at that I put a little bit of uh, let's turn you around just so you show you the levers and stuff like that there you go that's <laughs> what we've done today including uh, a few other things that we've uh, done right here but mostly on the on the chair it's been fiddly as uh, anything and we've done that as well So that, and we've done that. Let me just get that away. So that is it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. I really hope you enjoy that. Let me just really hope, really hope you enjoy that because there, there's a lot more to come of this uh, beautiful, beautiful build. One of the only, of uh, one of the the only few uh, military builds I do. 
the other one I might do is a Spitfire, but uh, I don't know about that. But uh, this is it for today. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining me. Please like, subscribe and pass it on. And join me next time on this build or any of my other builds, which you see a few of those of. And uh, I really hope you will join me there. As you can see, Optimus Prime there. I've got another pack of Optimus Prime, which is the just <laughs> the the belly area with a uh, um, with a spine in there as well. So that might be very uh, nice to do. But uh, yeah, so that may be very nice to do. That's uh, <laughs> the cable just came falling down, but that may be very nice to do as well. So uh, if you want to join me there, have a look at my channel, and you'll see where that comes out. There's a lot more on that channel as well. So have a look at those and. Uh, Hope you will join me next time on any of my builds. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.